Hello YouTube, it's Mind Bender here, and it's been far too long since we've done our last Mech Suit Madness, so I decided it's time to do one now. Uh, before you are three different mechs, I'll take you through each and every one. Uh, they do have a bit of an overarching theme this time. Each one is inspired by the aesthetics of a different video game, although this one kind of muddies the water, kind of gets in on a technicality. They have had a video game, it's probably just not what they're known for, so you know, we're splitting hairs here. Um, but in universe, my Lego universe, these all do exist, and I like to imagine they kind of form a very strange group of buddies who just kind of have weird mechs and all hang out and get into weird adventures together because, I mean, look at them. What a, what a ragtag bunch. All right, let's get into them. All right, first up is what some may argue to be the more vanilla of the three mechs, although that is not a slight on the source material in the slightest. This is my mech based on Titanfall. I call it the Roamer. And obviously I'm a huge fan of Titanfall. Anybody who's followed me for a while knows I take a lot of inspiration from that game, and it's probably my favorite video game, even though I haven't played very many. Um, but the other two are just, you know, they're, they're pretty out there. So he's a little more down to earth. He's carrying a railgun, kind of meant to be a tribute to or inspired by North Star, which is the Titan I really like to use when I play Titanfall, or did back in the day before you know what. Um, the color scheme is more inspired by Ion, which is my other main, because I'm really interesting like that. Uh, if you come over to this side, you can see he's got a bit of a decal up there, just kind of inspired by the different types of paints or personalizations you can unlock during the game. And one other thing that is inspired by the game is you can take the gun, go around to the back of the mech, and it clips on so you can kind of carry it back there, as many, many Titans in game tend to do. And then he's, he's all hands-free. Whoop, he falls down. He's all hands free to do some form of horrific thing to his enemy in a really cool cutscene. Uh, to open the cockpit, you just open this up, open this up, and there's the pilot. And this is actually the second design of Romer I built. The first one looks like this. This is actually the first one I built. Uh, but I was a big enough fan of the design and it was you know small enough that it didn't use too many parts, so I went ahead and built a second one. This one I kind of want to save for its own video because this one and its pilot kind of have a bit of actual lore behind them and I'm just looking forward to sharing that, but not in this video, so look forward to that. All right, next mech. All right, next up is a red boy. And as you might be able to tell, this is inspired by the video game Doom, a game I haven't played very much, but I'm a big fan of how it looks and I'm a big fan of the lore, even though I've heard some people don't really like it that much, but I do. And this was actually inspired by a bunch of different individual things from Doom that I enjoy that I kind of rolled into one mech. So indulge me for a moment as I list them off. This front uh, cannon arm here, even though it kind of looks like the Mancubus's gun, was actually inspired by the Cyber Demon. Just the idea of a uh, no, no hand, just kind of this little vestigial gun Im embedded into a forearm, kind of stubby looking. I like that. The overall shape and kind of stance that, you know, fat hunched kind of look that was inspired by the mancubus he's got these two guns up top which i made sure to put these uh bright orange lightsaber bars inside because i wanted them to very clearly look like they were meant to fire lasers which they are big big heat ray laser guns could say those were inspired by revenant but um they were actually i was thinking of the atlan mechs from doom eternal the oh whatever the dlc is called i can't remember um but yeah, that's where those came from. The actual color and kind of just overall texture, even though everything in Doom kind of has a similar texture, uh, was actually inspired by the Dark Lord's armor. He has this very nice deep red armor, and that's kind of where all this came from. And then, I mean, it's Doom, so of course there's a chainsaw. Gotta have a chainsaw. And I think that's everything that I took from Doom. I'm trying to remember if there's more, but I think that's about it. Quick look at the back, it doesn't look great from the back. A lot of that hunch really starts to show. Get the pilot by opening this up and there he is inside. I kind of wanted to make like a like a Doom, a Doom guy stand-in minifigure that I could include with this, but I just didn't have anything that looked right. So I did a Blacktron guy because everybody loves Blacktron. So he's in there. Also, it looks cool. I really like that minifigure. I can't explain why he fits, but he just does. So that's my boom trooper. That's my doom boy. I hope you like it. Next guy. 
All right, now for the controversial one. You guys all know what this is. This is based on Warhammer 40K, based on Space Marine Power Armor, which is not even a mech in-game, or in-universe. I shouldn't say in-game, because it's only a video game sometimes. Sometimes it's a massive tabletop board game that my friends play that I don't understand and still don't understand, but boy, the wiki is sure fun to read. Um, it's green because I wanted to build a green mech. I don't have very many green mechs, especially not in this shade of green. I guess I use sand green fairly often. Um, and this felt like a good opportunity to use it. Um, I guess you could say Dark Angels. Why are we not focusing on them, eh? Get in there. All right. I guess you could say Dark Angels. You could maybe say Salamanders. Um, some people said Sons of Horus. I always thought those guys were darker, but maybe that's just because they're evil. But, um, oh, his hand is like dragging. It's got this little axe, as you can see. I built him a small axe that I'm a big fan of because I couldn't figure out a small design for a chainsaw that looked good to me. What I could figure out though was a nice stand-in for a bolter. I don't think it's perfectly accurate one-to-one -one replica of a bolter, but I'm happy with how it looks. Just general accoutrements and decorations. I'm a big fan of this, this thing above his uh, power pack there. I'm getting all the term terminology wrong. I apologize because I I'm not an expert on any of these things. I just like how they look. Uh, one thing I'm very proud of is he can take his gun and he can come down here. See this little droid arm? Or sorry, uh, it's like an Exoforce claw piece. And that just clips on, oh my goodness. Tight space to work in, especially with a camera. But there you go. And he can just kind of have that hanging on his hip. So I'm a big fan of how that looks. Because of this design, he has a waist swivel. This is actually using my replacement for the Nexo Knight cockpit design that I showed off in a previous video. So I'll link it up there if you want to check it out. But yeah, this was really fun to build because I don't usually do stuff that looks like this. It was fun to go in a wildly different design direction. It's fun to visit and learn about a kind of madness universe. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. It does differ from standard Space Marine power armor in that this is more of a mech. You can just open this up and there's the guy. You know, he's not he's not a 10 foot tall Primaris Astartes. He's just, he's just a normal weird looking dude sitting in a big old mech suit that I imagine he's really passionate about and everyone else thinks he's kind of weird in universe, but I'm a big fan of it and I think he looks good with the other two. So yeah, there he is. All right, guys, until next time, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you really liked the video, feel free to subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of these guys. Uh, like I said earlier, instructions for everything you see will be in the pinned comment. Check out my pay hit page if you want instructions to other stuff I've built. Um, I've been Mindbender, and I'll talk to you later.